Oh, Dragon's Dogma? Uh, did I say 50 gift subs or 100? I think I said 100. 100 gift subs if Dragon's Dogma 2 is actually announced or teased in some way. I really hope that, uh, I really, really, really hope that we get at least, um, Resident Evil 4 remake actual gameplay. Like, actual gameplay from RE4 remake. Here we go. This feels important. 35 straight, zero. Zero chops the screen in half. That would be, that would be an announcement. Cool. Cool. Feels Hello, special. Everyone. Welcome to the Capcom showcase where we'll share exciting new updates on our upcoming games. We have disembodied voice. Story, I like it. And hope you enjoy the show. Let's begin. It has a soundtrack. Okay. Hello, everyone. I'm, I'm covering his Timo, face. Producer of the Monster Hunter series. Thank you for to today's Capcom showcase. We're excited to bring you the latest info on Monster Hunter Rise, Sun, which will finally be released at the end of this month. To kick things off, we've got a brand new trailer to show you. Ooh. Yes. Let's take a look. Let's take a look. Please, I'm ready to take a look. Still getting footage from the uh, Switch version, it looks like. <clears throat> new areas. There's a beach! There's a beach zone? Oh, Simmons is gonna be super sold. Be they're just gonna call it beach zone? Is that an old map? Really? What? Are these old mons? I don't recognize. I don't recognize. What is this thing? Espinas? Espinas? Monster Hunter Frontier stuff? This is this is too old for my blood. This is some Monster Hunter Boomer shit. There's a giant freaking crab. <laughs> There's a huge crab. <clears throat> I think we saw this guy before. There's a huge crab. We're literally playing Lobster Fight or whatever that crab battle, whatever that game was. Okay, I'm already liking the variety, right? Which was a really nice part of Rise 2, the monster variety. Oh, okay. Barrieth looking cool. The new stuff. And Janath getting smacked. Oh my god. Oh my god. What is it? Oh, it's Hoggoss Harag. What is it? What? What the hell? Gor is that is that Gormagala? It is. Okay. I've never I've never fought this thing before. It had a big intro. The signal's uh hangry. It's got four arms. It's got wing arms and straight up. Oh, okay. All right. I can see why people like that. Gore Magala. When's the last time Gore Magala was in something, chat? The Yungle. First, let me introduce a returning locale. The jungle area that debuted Monster in the four? second generation wow, okay. of Monster Hunter games is back in Sunbreak. MH4U. You know, well, the most of them are in MH4U, right? <clears throat> Generations Ultimate had like a lot of stuff. Hunters and new <clears throat> players are sure to enjoy. And of course, we've updated the jungle with new elements and endemic life specifically for its return in Sunbreak. Neat! Longtime fans can look forward to exploring the devastated ruins. I can't wait. We're to playing us soon, chat. I'm gonna lose my life again. 
From the Monster Hunter Frontier series comes Espinas. I like Espinas. Espinas means thorns. Espinas. <laughs> As the name implies, thorny scales I didn't say cover it. its body. You said it. Normally, Espinas? Espinas enjoys a quiet life and sleeps peacefully, but when it senses danger nearby, it explodes into a violent rampage. Even though it can seem docile, Espinas has a two-faced nature that can be extremely dangerous. This thing looks wicked. The flagship monster of Monster Hunter 4, Gora Oh, it's a flagship. No wonder everybody loves it. Gormagala is a it was the Nergi Gante of Generations Ultimate. Sensitive wing membranes used to sense the presence of prey. As Gormagala's sensing ability increases, its two horns change form and it enters the frenzy state. While in a frenzy state, it gets so powerful that the ground beneath begins to break and it uses its huge claws as an anchor during powerful attacks. Dude, its wings are sick. Holy hell. Or it's like not wings. It's got like cloak In wings addition, or something. The also shows the Daimyo Hermitar and the Pyrorachna Kadaki subspecies, which adds explosive elements, makes its fiery debut. There are still more monsters oh my God, this that is have so cool. to be revealed, so stay tuned for more. There's a huge, there's a huge giant game. enemy crab in this game. I absolutely love it. It's a giant crab There's monster. One more thing I want to share with you all. So please watch the what? following video. Today, slay an Astalos. <clears throat> Today, is it gonna? Is the demo gonna be Switch only? Okay, so stuff to learn how to play the game. Okay. Cool. 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 They're doing the usual, right? Fight like the hardest mon in, in the game at the moment. I had to look at the date. All right, that's potentially tomorrow. Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak Maybe tonight. Is coming to both Nintendo Switch and Steam. Nice. The demo will be available to download as shown. Nice. In the jungle locale introduced today. Nice. You'll be able to take on Astalos. Nice. Skill swap Tiff, Nico, as well as new Teeters, attacks will be Dash. For play. We'll have a all the people that we teamed up with before, y'all ready? That will teach you the basic mechanics and moves. After mastering the basics, you'll be ready to take on other monsters in the demo to test your skills. For veteran hunters, an advanced quest will also be available. Yes. You can take on an extra challenging version of Sunbreak's flagship monster, Malzino. The demo supports multiplayer for up to four players, and there's no limit to the number of times you can attempt quests. Nice. None of that stuff anymore. Get an early taste of Sunbreak action with this free demo. You can download it from the Nintendo eShop and Steam store page. I wonder that when that'll actually also, go live. Like it might actually go live tonight. Mind when purchasing Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak. So you will be able to enjoy all the added contents. The catch-up stuff. Seven star hub quests, yep. Following Sunbreak's release, we plan to release a number of free title updates. Please enjoy this quick video preview of what's on the way. Dude, what the heck? Whoa. Okay, there's a Kuga. Not a Kuga. Our first title update scheduled for August 2020. Kuga variant. We'll add Lucent Narga Kuga. This monster will be a part of the first free title update to come to Sunbreak post launch. In addition to the Lucent Narga Kuga, yeah, what is that location? A new area, the iconic Forlorn Arena. With future title updates, we plan on including additional monsters, variants, and more. Our title update release schedule is as follows. The second title update is planned for a fall 2022 release. Okay. The third title update will come in winter 2022. Several monsters. And there's more to come in 2023. Wow, they're going to go all the way to 2023? The title update will include additional monsters and other elements. We hope you'll check them out. Wow. I'm, I'm kind of surprised. 
That feels like that was, that's longer than what they did for Rise in general, right? Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak will be released worldwide on June 30th, 2022. Digital pre-orders for Sunbreak are now available on both Nintendo Switch and Steam. Cool. Pre-orders will also receive a special bonus. Palamute That's a Palatine Sunbreak is feeling almost like at least from my perspective, potentially even bigger than what Iceborne was. At least I, that's the impression I'm getting right now. Please visit the official website and follow Monster But who knows? You know, Iceborne was really big. If not potentially bigger than World. Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak. Thanks for tuning in and enjoy the rest of the Capcom Showcase. It's so nice that everybody likes Monster Hunter. It's so nice that I jumped into this series at the same now time everybody else did. the Capcom Spotlight Corner. Stuff you've already shown off. Ah, uh, there's. Fighter Six. Coming there we soon. go. <clears throat> yeah, we, we're, they're not going to show anything new. Street Fighter is currently in development and has something fun for everyone to enjoy. Fan favorites Ryu and Chun Li will be heating up the battle stage right alongside some of the newest fighters, right. Luke and Jamie. With breathtaking new visuals, unleash unprecedented battles with the all-new the old trailer, battle yeah. system. Street Fighter VI reimagines the fighting game experience with new modes that will allow you to experience the Street Fighter universe. What awaits you in this game? Look forward to our next announcement later this year. There. No! Celebrating the 35th no! anniversary of the Street Fighter <clears throat> franchise, the Capcom Fighting Collection will be released later this month. So what do we have to look forward to? What's the, the next big events? There's Comic-Con, there's Evo, there's Tokyo Game Hyper Show, right? Two. There's the Game Awards. Those are the next Five big ones. Soccer's titles and more. Ten of the best fighting games from the arcade era are included in one package. Gamescom, that too. All of the titles included will be there's a lot of There's online. a lot of opportunities for them to show stuff. So play a match there's a very Japan. high likelihood six is coming well, out in February. Almost anything challenge. with Street Fighter in the title Enjoy comes out in February. It's been that way since like Street Fighter 4 almost. Capcom Fighting Collection will launch on June 24th, This is soon. Wow. This is really soon. Orders are available now. Please visit the official website for more information. Play the games you loved again. Capcom Arcade How many of these Stadium look how many games they have right now, dude? That's why they need a showcase. Capcom Arcade Second Stadium. This is like Captivate 2022. 2022. If this was if Saturday this was ten years ago, Slam chat, Masters. me and Magic Matt McMuscles Sword. would be in Hawaii Black Tiger, at a Captivate event as they show off more. all this stuff. Combined That's how they used to do it. Arcade titles. <clears throat> in addition to a bundle that features all thirty-two titles, each title I think this is, is better. <laughs> individual <laughs> right? and features. I think this is better. With lots of quality of life options. This is neat. All wow, you can you can really get some good scores against the computer that way. Oh my god. Pause, wait for the DP. Oof. Is available for pre-order now. Get display frame set one as a bonus for pre-ordering. To celebrate, get the Capcom Arcade Stadium title, Street Fighter II, The World Warrior. Free for a limited time. Regular SF2? We hope you try out the Capcom Arcade CPS Stadium CPS1 SF2. Well. Yeah, not CPS2. Yeah, Mega Man Power Battles 1 and 2 are very Next fun. They're weird an games. On Capcom's new team -based action game, yes. Exo Primal. Yes. <clears throat> Show me. I want this game to impress Hi, me. I'm Takuto Hiraoka, director of Exo Primal. We have a new trailer to show today that includes lots of gameplay. Let's take a look. I am the artificial intelligence, Leviathan. Your personnel data indicates you are a suitable specimen to join an ongoing experiment. Under my supervision, Ivius Corp conducts its most important research here. Welcome to Bikitoa Island. That's a funny name. That is a funny name. You have been selected for a live combat test. The first team to complete their assignment wins. My archives encompass exhaustive records of human history. 
These annals are riddled with errors and institutional bias. Your species is susceptible to mass delusion. Jesus. Humans dread the other. You seek to evolve, yet you do not want to change. Dinosaur Musuo game? <clears throat> sort of. Even More like a uh, team-based PvPVE game. Right? Data is required to develop the exosuit. Think of At more like EDF, but Capcom and dinosaurs. Damn, these mechs look kind of sick. Flamehead, dude? Lies the answer. What is variable shall become fixed. Humans, fight and die for me. Carnage module online. I call your attention to the unstoppable raptor horde. Calculating <laughs> chance of employee retention. There's a plane chance with dinosaurs all over it. You must fight harder than ever if you wish to survive. A more grueling combat experiment is called. This game war. looks wild. A small fragment of the war game. You need to keep fighting until we can figure out how to destroy the body. This, this is the, this game is the epitome of bonkers, right? This game is going to push your 3090, that's for sure. That's what I'm feeling, right? Like this game will, well, this game will be pushing, yeah, it's coming out on Steam, thank God. We hope you enjoyed the But trailer. it's going to be pushing your 3090. Now, I will get into more detail about the game. Developed by Ivius Corporation, Leviathan is a next-gen AI that guides players throughout Exoprimal via voice navigation and augmented reality displays. Leviathan appears before players as a massive human-like figure or as a surveillance drone called a Watcher. The trailer shows Leviathan unleashing hordes of dinosaurs. Players will battle these dinosaurs Tell it to stop doing that. Leviathan's infinitely repeating Can you stop games. releasing the why dinosaurs? Why is bringing dinosaurs into our world? And why is Leviathan repeating these What the hell? That is so Solve funny. Solve the mystery by playing the main There's game dinosaurs mode. all over Dino like a 747. Let me provide a brief gameplay Jesus. introduction. Yeah, you're, if this is on PlayStation 4, game. your console is going to be In a Dino puddle survival. after, the, after you play one level of this game. Objectives. Teams must follow PS4 is just screaming, STOP! The their STOP! I'm from 2013, STOP! Of missions. In fact, we just saw some in the latest trailer. There's Dinosaur Call, where teams must eliminate a specific dinosaur. In VTOL Defense, teams protect a grounded aircraft from dinosaur onslaughts. In Data Jesus, security, dude. teams escort a valuable asset to its destination. Destroy targets in Omega Charge with the powerful Omega Hammer. In Energy Taker, teams compete to collect the most energy. It's almost like a little Warframey in some ways, right? I mean, I'm, I'm a Warframe, you know, don't know anything. While there are situations but it's almost like a little bit, players, like movement-wise, the way characters are like schmoovin' and stuff. Not as fast, obviously. Foe. This variety of missions will keep players on their toes. In Dino Survival, the missions change based on players' progression through the game. The experience will be different every time you play, even in matches with familiar surroundings and objectives. By playing Dino Survival, you will unlock story sequences and also earn rewards such as experience points to increase your player and exosuit levels. Of course. We'll provide more details about this at a later date. The exosuits look great. What's the date, man? Dino Survival, let's move on to exosuits. Okay, show me. We showed two new exosuits today. <gasps> Barrage is an assault roll exosuit. It uses explosives to set areas ablaze and bombards enemies with ricochet grenades. Vigilant is also Jesus. an assault roll exosuit. It wields a destructive railgun to snipe from long range. We have even more exosuits to share with you in the future, so look forward to upcoming announcements. We have one last announcement for today. What's with the announcements on top of more announcements, huh? I don't mind. The hell? Welcome Ow! to my research facility. Ow! 
We're conducting a closed network test Ow! for Exoprimal. Players will be able to try the game ahead of release. Mulan? Help us test the game's online infrastructure and make improvements ahead of launch. Right, okay. Sign up to participate today. No the actual date. Test will allow you to experience dino survival before the game's launch. Okay, next year. at some we point. Look forward to having you join in. Okay, at some point. That's all for today. And they're just saying the game's launching next year. We plan to release Exoprimal in 2023. Okay, no hard date yet. Until then, keep an eye on our website. Usually, most big media. Capcom games launch in the first three to four months of every year. Thank you for watching. Uh, so I don't know if they're going to be doing that because RE4 is coming out and potentially Street Fighter is coming out around that time. And where the hell Dexo Prime will go? Dragon's Dogma, which recently celebrated its 10th anniversary. That this doesn't count. It has to be Dragon's Dogma 2. This doesn't count. It has to be Dragon's Dogma 2. Okay. I said that it had to be Hi Dragon's everyone. Dogma 2, I'm not, not just an announcement of- Game Director at Capcom. A few weeks ago, we celebrated the 10th anniversary of Dragon's Dogma. Thanks to all of you for joining us in this celebration. The world of Dragon's Dogma- I like that. Has since spread to various like that different shirt. kinds of media. Ranging from games <coughs> such as Dragon's Dogma and the Dark Arisen expansion to digital comics and a Netflix original animated series. In the coming days, we will be releasing a video celebrating 10 years of Dragon's Dogma. Cool. Talking about how and what Dragon's Dogma came to be. So whether you're a longtime fan or just curious about the series, we'll have something for you to enjoy. Another Dragon's Dogma we hope stream. You Check it out. Once again, thank you all so much. An announcement of an announcement. <clears throat> Potentially. They could be there. My and gift sub bet will still be up for that. Updates from the Resident Evil franchise. Yeah, I'll, I'll still hold my bet, right? If it, even if it's there. Hello, everyone. Wow! Okay. The RE8 DLC, Resident here Evil it Village. is. Thanks to all of our fans, Village has sold over 6 million units worldwide. My bet still stands Everyone for Dragon's Dogma 2. Incredibly happy to still see stands. So many people enjoy the game. Thank you for your support. The Resident Evil series continues to bring fun experiences to people around the world. We want longtime fans and people who are new to Resident Evil to enjoy this storied franchise. Let's start with this video. Six million is a lot for one year in a Resident Evil game. That's a lot. It might end up eclipsing Resident Evil 7 overall. <clears throat> 16 years? What? Rose. This is a bit of a spoiler. It's all right, Rose. It's all right. Really? I can show you things even Chris doesn't know I can do. I want to live a normal life. Old baby. She's Shut up. What's going on Oh no, the Duke took things over? Oh no! <laughs> oh no. All right. It's tough. Marking the target. Jesus, Chris. Showtime! No. What next? What the shit? Okay. You get to play as Demetrasque. Okay. That's pretty neat. It's actually a story expansion.
Holy shit. Holy shit. That legit might make the game better. What? Was it, did they actually show Reavers? Steve is losing his mind. Sorry to keep you waiting. We're happy to reveal Steve the is DLC losing his mind. Resident Evil Village we promised last June. Steve is losing his mind right now. Will be worth the wait. This DLC includes three major features. First, the third person mode. This is crazy. Many people asked for this, and we were able to There's a reason to play the game, game again, right? Now, you'll be able to see Ethan as he desperately fights for survival. Players that have already experienced Ethan's journey can enjoy the new perspective and animations too. Yeah. The mercenary will be great. returns with additional orders in an arcade-style action game where focus has been put on the exhilarating feeling of defeating relentless hordes of enemies. New stages are included, as well as additional playable characters such as Chris Redfield and Heisenberg. Of course, Lady Dimitrescu will be there too. We've really fueled this mode up. Enjoy looking down what on your hell? foes from over nine feet above as Lady Dimitrescu slashes her enemies aside. Just throwing chairs at dudes. The third edition is one you've surely been waiting for. An additional story, Shadows of Rose. Today, let me introduce just a bit of this story. This is a pretty big expansion, dude. Rose, the beloved daughter of the main protagonist, Ethan, is now a grown-up main character in this new story mode. In this sequel to the main story of Village, you can experience Rose's struggles with the terrifying powers she was born with. To break free of the curse of her powers, she enters the consciousness of the Megamycet. The Metamucil. There, she meets a girl who looks just like her. In this mysterious realm of consciousness, time and space is warped beyond recognition. Rose is guided by a being who calls himself Michael, who might be of assistance with removing her powers. Shadow Rose is set completely in a third-person perspective. In the realm of consciousness, you won't only Whoa. face creatures, but the world itself seems to be attacking Whoa. you. The Enjoy the Whoa. horror of the world itself being your greatest enemy. The whole thing's in third person? How will Rose find freedom from her mysterious powers? The DLC for Resident Evil Village wow, okay. Winter's Expansion includes all three of these major additions. In addition, That'll be great. That's a, that's a great Village opportunity Gold in like October to go through RE8 again. We were just talking about this. Where it's like, I don't remember a ton of happened in RE8, just big moments. The release date is planned for October 28th, 2020. That's nuts. A year and a half after the first Resident game comes Evil out. RE Verse will also begin service on the same date, October 28th, 2022. We hope that you are looking forward to it. That's it. Right? How did you like that? They delayed Reverse until the DLC. Also, as already announced, we are working on making the main story of Village available on Mac so that even more people can enjoy Resident Evil. In addition, that's, the that's main a big story day. of Village is planned that's to be a lot of content. on PlayStation VR 2. We are working hard on bringing you the ultimate immersive experience worthy of next gen in Resident Evil Village. So look forward to future announcements. Up next, a game that was announced Here we go, just a boys. few days ago. They're saving it for the end. Don't be the same trailer. Please, no. It'll be the same trailer. Come on. New stuff. I want to see gameplay <laughs> badly. Gunder Wonder Roost. I've located Baby Eagle. Maybe it's an extended trailer. Okay. <clears throat> fine. Guess you, me, 
Picked the wrong spot to vacation, eh? Receive our most sacred body. It begins. This is the first time they've now. just like repeated a trailer, right? In this whole presentation. And it's for the thing that everyone wants to see the most. If I could just forget what happened that night. The pain. Even for a second. This time. It can be different. New stuff? It has to. Okay, that was uh, the smallest amount of new stuff. We got a face reveal of Leon. All right, and guess what? It looks like Leon. Hi, everyone. I'm Yasuhiro. I'm Asha, shocked. Director of Resident Evil 4. And I'm Yoshiaki Hirabayashi, producer of Resident Evil 4. This title is a reimagining of Resident Evil 4 based on the original 2005 release. Right. Similar to other titles in the series, we are carefully preserving what makes the original title special. Right. While updating it with modern flourishes for everyone to enjoy when it launches in 2023. Right. Today, we'll reintroduce a bit of the game's story. No. Resident Evil 4 is set six no. years after the events in no. Raccoon City, depicted no. in Resident Evil 2 and Resident no. Evil 3. The main character of the game, Leon S. Kennedy, survived the Raccoon City incident and was assigned as an agent directly under the President of the United States. Leon is dispatched to a quiet village in Europe as part of a mission to rescue the kidnapped daughter of the President. You might notice Leon is much more mature and fearless due to his past experiences. The Ganado, the main enemies of this game, wait for him. Okay. The experience of being attacked by hordes of crazed Ganado is truly an iconic moment from Resident Evil. It is. In Can order we to see it? bring out the concept of terror of people controlled by madness, yeah. the Ganado have been completely redesigned. Cool. Let's take a closer look. Okay. At the game itself. Okay. Oh. The over the shoulder oh. camera returns, <laughs> of course. They're delivering. Leon arrives at a dense and They're dangerous doing it. forest. We want to nail the feeling of loneliness and fear of not knowing what lies ahead, even more so than the original. Of course, there will also be thrilling battles. People that played the recent Resident Evil 2 and Resident Evil 3 should find this familiar. Oh, it is so dank. Look forward to future announcements. Where we'll have more information on the game. No, buddy. Resident Evil 4 is being Dude, you didn't even go into the house. Xbox Series X, Series Dude. S, and PC. The release date will be March 24th. Dude, you didn't even go into the house, man. We are aiming to create a Resident Evil 4 that everyone can enjoy. So please look forward to it. That Thank was you. the smallest. Thank you so, so much. much. It was it was Leon walking around, bro. <clears throat> It was Leon walking. He didn't even kick something. What did you think about the latest information on Resident Evil Village and Resident Evil 4? Both games are currently in development. I was really hoping to see more. Wait for the release. Check out the following games. Oh, all of these on PS5. Yeah, I think this was that technically not a world premiere, right? It's the next gen versions, right? Gen. 
And that's Resident it. Resident Evil 7, which brought the series back to its survival horror roots, and the reimagining of classic titles Resident Evil 2 and Resident Evil 3. These three titles, built with RE Engine, I forgot how cool Jill looks in RE3 features, Remake. Including support for 4K, high frame rate, and ray tracing. As well as Shiny 3D stuff. audio for an even more immersive experience. These titles are available for PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X and Series S beginning today. Whoa. In addition, Whoa. PlayStation 4 and Xbox One players can enjoy a Do free the PC versions also get upgraded to too? Via the digital upgrade program and smart delivery. For PC users, an update hey, I just had to complain a little. Date. For newcomers and veterans of survival Dope. horror alike, we hope you enjoyed the immersion these new versions Because those are big offer. graphical upgrades that aren't available in the PC version, you know? Welcome to the family. That's all for today's announcement. There was a lot of stuff here. Thank you. Right? That wraps up today's yeah. show. We there was definitely a lot of stuff here. We are about some of our upcoming games. Thank you to everyone, new and old fans alike, for tuning in. We look forward to sharing more updates with you soon. You know, I think I think the only thing that was disappointing was uh, was the fact that RE4 <clears throat> was not shown in a, in a in a big fashion. Right? That RE4 was essentially like they showed Leon walking around, and you know that was about it.